Hi, this is Andrina Shufran from the Insect Adventure, part of the Extension Service of Oklahoma. And today, since we're coming up on Halloween, we're going to talk about spiders. And we'll look at the black widow and the brown recluse, but we want to focus on some of the other spiders that you might run into this time of year. Wanted to start off with the tarantula, since it's tarantula mating season. This is our little native tarantula. We just have the one species of tarantula here in Oklahoma. The males are moving around right now looking for females, and sometimes they do it in large groups, depending on how the weather is and everything. And so you'll see them moving around, and then the males will die over the winter. You might also see molts laying around. This is just the shed exoskeleton. All bugs live in a suit of armor, and the suit of armor won't stretch. It has to be replaced in the next biggest size, and so they leave behind their old exoskeleton and make a new bigger one. Most of their lives they're able to do that. So the one that people are calling and asking about the most right now are the green lynx spiders. Beautiful. You'll see them on plants and shrubs and flower bushes. They don't make a big orb, but right now you'll see them protecting a very large egg sac. And that egg sac will probably give 200 to 300 little spiderlings. Another type of spider that we're getting a lot of interested calls about are the orb weaver spiders. Make the big Charlotte's Web perfect circle to catch things like butterflies and grasshoppers out in the field. A lot of folks refer to the golden orb weaver as a banana spider. It is not a banana spider. Banana spiders only occur where bananas are grown. And that is definitely not Oklahoma. It's a golden orb weaver. But there are lots of other types of orb weavers too. There are cat face orb weavers and there are spiny orb weavers. It's a big family of spiders, but they all make that perfect circle web. The last spider I want to show you is a cellar spider. Now it looks like it has a fiddle on its back, just like the brown recluse, but cellar spiders are found up in the corners of dark places and they have a very highly decorated abdomen where a brown recluse has no decoration on its abdomen. And just to drive home, the brown recluse and the black widow, this is not a deadly animal. There she is on my finger. Brown recluses cannot physically bite you unless they are under pressure, which is why a lot of people get bitten in bed or people get bitten when they get their, pull their clothes on. Halloween is a wonderful time to focus on spiders. So go out in your backyard and make a scavenger hunt. Find what you've got. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.